Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton. I'm John Shaw. And now Ronald Acuna Jr. Riding a power surge coming into this one, Chris. He's homered in four straight games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel off and do damage with. And really, that's the key for him. As long as he can get the bat to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill. Jose Ureña, what do we need to know here? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Now it's the power speed combo. Ronald Leading Acuna Jr. Atlanta, the left fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. And here it comes. In for a strike. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 707. And the pitch. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, Three. he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Got him. And now one away. Oh, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, that but certainly got away with the location the there. You know, sometimes oh. as a hitter, when you're oh, down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Now in for the Braves, Paul Molitor. In there, and it's 0-1. And a rope into center field, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. The center fielder, Joe Rios. So digging in, Joe Rios. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. In there for strike one. Molitor leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. The 0-2. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's gone. He blasts one out to right. His 22nd homer of the year. It's 2 nothing. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good forcing fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Batting four. The designated hitter. Marcel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they can't get the out. Stringing them together, that's three that's hits big. in a row. To me, it's just a really six. controlled, balanced Damn. swing. He wasn't trying to do Use too it. much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Man at first with one gone, and now it's going to be Stan Musial. This guy has turned into a beast. And that's in there for strike one. And 
the righty deals. Strike two to measure what a force Stan the man was for the Cardinals. Look at his first decade in the league. In those years, he won three MVP awards and finished second another three times. And no one can get there. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Ozuna coming home. Segura relay to third, and he's out. But a run does come in to score. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and the guys work so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Austin Riley takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Here's your one. That's in there. Here comes a pitch. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. That I think he choked up a little bit. The maybe spread out. Hit. But he Ozzie. got the job done right there. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. That's ripped. Base hit. Here comes Riley. Segura with a relay home. Not in time. He scores. And it's 4 0. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pick. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Brings it in for the third out. Bottom of the first. Starting on the mound in this one, Ian Anderson. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Bottom of the first, Gene Segura at the plate here. And base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Man at first, and now it's Alec Bohm. Duvall sizes this one up, tracks it down for the out. Tagging it first, he breaks for second. Duvall quickly throws it in. Lead runner stops at second. Lou Gehrig that stands in for the Phillies. The first baseman. Kind of a throwback. Yeah. No batting gloves. Yeah. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Segura over at second, one down. Foul ball. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. Up the middle. Throw over to Musial. And that's an out. Now it's the D.H. Frank Thomas. Thomas. Base hit and a run comes in. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. The next pitch misses. And the count two and one. Here's Harper, the count two and one. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4 1.
Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Second inning, set to go. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Travis Darno. And a pitch. There's a strike. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. He's 0 for 1. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Travis Darno coming around third. He'll score easily. It's 5-1. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Yeah, Didn't get enough air Good under shot. to drive it out of here. Oh. But you'll take that swing and that result every time. So man aboard. Paul Molitor next up for the Braves. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Pulls it in for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Joe Rios. Joe Rios, next up for the Braves. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. You know, I was watching his rounds now during batting, batting practice today. Is so impressed with his Marcel. ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And now, Marcelo Zuna. That one's in there on one. Puts a bunt down. Garrett. Out number two and another run comes in. Well, the safety the squeeze base can base be tough to six. defend, especially with a good runner and at third. You can't you risk do. trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Here comes the manager out of the You're dugout, right. and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Now, Ross Stripling taking over on the mound. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. We go to the bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He's hitting for that pop no came field. out of the gates really strong. Yeah. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. Anderson, certainly one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and double digit strikeouts are not out of the norm in his starts. Out towards right center field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Round second, digging for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Batting seven. He wants to give the bullpen the day off and the defense behind them because he knows he can strike anybody out. And the way the guys are swinging, they're trying to lift, trying to get the ball in the air, he's going to take advantage of that. 
Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Schwarber out of the play. And there's one down. There's a process, too, right, the way he goes about setting up hitters. Yeah, and he's coming right at you. He's going to get ahead in the count. And when you're a hitter and you find yourself 0-2, 1-2 with a guy who has three to four pitches that are nasty, you are very defensive. And he plays upon that, and many times he comes out on top. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it, the umpire rolls with him. Not shortstop. This is Bryson right, Stock. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Tosses to first, and that is that. One left for Phil. Back here at the ballpark, here's Austin Riley. Leading off to the break, the third baseman. Austin the wind of the pitch. Riley. Ripped on the ground a second. In time to oh. Gehrig. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The here the is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Ozzy On the ground. Off balance throw in time. First two batters retired here in the top of the, the third. Right fielder, number 14. Adam Duvall Adam. next up for the Braves. Fly out his first time. And there's a fly ball deep right field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's there at third with a triple. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I love the hustle Catch out of the box. Man, right he right drove right. that baseball, and he Darn was thinking right. triple right away. So two down, and next for Atlanta, Travis Darno doubled in his first A.B. That one hit to right. Harper on his way over. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And Back at Citizens Bank Park. Set for the bottom of the third. And digging in for Philadelphia. Gene Segura. Second baseman. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. And it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Now he was batting. definitely late on Third that pitch, baseman. but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the mound. And now here is Alec Bull. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need a new bat. Nobody out. Runner at first. Oh, and two as he waves at that right. one. Ground ball could be two. Beats the second. Out, out there. On the first yeah. double play. The first baseman, number four, Lou. And now for the Phillies, Lou Gehrig. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And that is that. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The left fielder. With the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Harper should have this one. Drops into the glove. One down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want now that one back, no Shortstop. doubt. Paul. So up next, Paul Molitor. That one out to right. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Not in time. He's safe. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Throw into third. The tag out. 
Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. So a man aboard. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. That smash towards center. And a base hit. Rios around third. He scores, and it's now a six-run lead. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I could the watch base hits like that one six. all day long, Damn. and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. And here is Stan Musial. Swing and a base hit. Now a relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Everything came together perfectly yeah, for him right Third there. Basis. Solid swing from start Austin. to end. On time with Riley. everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now Austin Riley. Tapped softly on the ground. In time to Gehrig, third out. Of inning number four now. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies one. Welcome leading back, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, right. Frank Thomas. Oh, and the 0-1. And he pumps it a strike. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Smoked on the ground a second. Into the outfield base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Thomas over at second. Harper at first with no outs. There's one, and he'll keep it for just the one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Hit on the ground, might be two. Quick feed to second for one. Double play, and that'll do it for the end. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies one. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzy Albies. The second baseman, Ozzy. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now the tag at second, out. and he's out. Trying for two. The right Adam two. Duvall at the plate. Adam Duvall. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Schwarber puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Man, that's now one of those at bats where you have to remind it. yourself Rabbit. it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Now he turns and heads for second. Not in time. It's a double. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his Come second back. extra base hit in this one. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Boom. Throws out to first. They get the out on Acuna. Third out. Back here in Philadelphia, we head to the bottom of the fifth. JT Real Muto steps in. The catcher. Fly ball to Get right. Team. Duvall moving Real under it. Muto. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of now rallying batting. from this kind Good of deficit, stop. they're right Boy at the top said. of the list. Stop. 
And a base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted no his no hands. Two. Nice job of going Second the other way. Man. So the lineup flips over. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss there. And now one and two. Stop. The runner at first with one gone in the inning. On the ground, a short could be two. Over to Albies. And it's a double play to end the inning. We're through five. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies one. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Paul Molitor, the shortstop. Stripling, back to work. Smoked to the left, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. A little more backspin on that now instead that of the top spin. The and he's jogging around the bases so, rather than pulling up at second. Here's a speed threat, Joe Rios. In there for strike one. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. This to center field. Schwarber settles underneath it, brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Slice to right. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. In comes the run from third. It's 8-1. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right six. there. Pretty much a model Damn. swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. And brings it in at the wall. Runner tags up for third. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wynn just absolutely killed it. Yeah, it. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. Austin. One for three. In the air, right side. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So they pick up a run on... Bottom of the six. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Leading off. The wind of the Billy. pitch. The third baseman. Now a pop up on the infield. Boom. One up, one down. The first baseman. Luke Eric, the, the next to hit. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Oh. Next offering misses, and it's one and, one and two. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Two up, two down. Now batting, the designated Two outs, base is empty. Right. And next is the designated hitter, Frank Thomas.
And first offering is fouled off. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Stays alive. And he'll two. Got him looking. And that'll do it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. It's still an 8 1. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Standing in is the power hitting Leading second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Schwarber drifts towards it, makes the grab, and there's one away. Woo. He was all over the that right first pitch fastball. He just barely Adam. missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Now in for the Braves, Adam Duvall. For the fourth time tonight. This one in the air right field. Harper on the move. Calls it in two away. Now batting. Two Captain. outs, base is empty. Travis. Now it's the Atlanta Darno. catcher, Travis Dardo. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The other way. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. Braves are set down one, two, three, and it remains an eight to one game. Back at Citizens Bank Park, set for the last half of the seventh, and now the right fielder, Bryce Harper. The right fielder. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. And there's a ball. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes, the count. Right into the plate. And now two the ball, count is even. Strikes. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. On the ground to the left. Riley collects it. Throw to first is oh, in time. Out. Harper retired. The left field, number eight. You've got to be kidding me. No, Did you see that no, no. throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully, StatCast is here to help. Us. You don't see many throws across the infield that get up in. So he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Orlando Arcia comes on defensively now as he takes over as the new second baseman. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In there, and it's 0-1. Ball one there. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Rios on the move. Makes the grab. Two down. The Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Kyle. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Here's a new pitcher please. from the pen, Juan Marichal. Hasn't pitched in the last three Number days. Juan nope. First pitch, Four, just misses. Cut on and missed 96 with that fastball. On the ground, right side. Base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And first offering is fouled off. 
Schwarber leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's a ball to strike. And that one a little bit high. Kicks and fires. That's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Right-handed reliever. Bounce to the left side. Now the throw to first on the run. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. Swing at a slow roller. Throw on to Olsen. That ends the inning. Phillies leave a couple. It's still in. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Sam Kunra. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. In the air to left center. Schwarber makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now back. Paul Molitor next up for the Braves. Paul. Base hit. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable at the plate. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. And at first, Marcelo Zuna getting ready to hit. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now Having himself a really Number nice three. game at the plate. That's a Matt. good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it hits the top of the wall. One run is in. The relay throw. The tag, and he's out tag. trying for three. That ends the inning, but two runs do score. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the break back here in Philadelphia ready for the bottom of the eighth and here's the Phillies leadoff man Gene Segura next offering is down low and that's ball one ball one no strikes to Segura hot shot to third can't glove it cleanly but the throw to first gets him easily and that's the first out up next for Philadelphia the third baseman and digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Out to short. Molitor picks it up, gathers, and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now Luke Eric digs in now. He's got the power. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. High fly ball out to center field. Rios sizing this one up, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now, Randy Orozarena. The third baseman, Randy Orozarena. Why to kick the pitch? Bunch it towards the mound. In time to Gehrig. 
They get the out on a Rosarena. The batter. And now the Orlando base. Arcia Orlando. came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. Ground ball right side. Gets it to first. And that is out number two. The right two outs, bases empty. Adam Duvall Adam. next up for the Braves. Base knock right field. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Now really stayed inside that baseball catcher. to send it to the opposite Rabbit. field. With the shift Don't onto know. the pull side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. Now here is Travis Darno. In the air, right field. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they maintain their 10 to 1 lead. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the DH, Frank. Thomas, William Phillies. Contreras, the, the new catcher now. Frank. Time called as the on. pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. One reliever still getting loose out the pen. Ladies Colin McHugh into the game. Please. He has a now great slider with tons of movement. Number 32. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rios makes his way towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out number one. The right fielder. Now three. here is Harper. Right. Harper. That one's in there, 0 and 1. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Has some trouble with it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Makes the catch for the out. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Number 12. Swing Kyle. and a ball popped up. Molitor Schwarber. under this one. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take this one in a blowout. These guys just keep rolling. This winning streak is out of control. I can't believe that they've been able to reel off this many wins in a row. You're playing big league players on the other side of the diamond, and they're just getting it done day in, day out, night in, night out. 10 1, the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah.